Okay guys, it's Carrie Kramer and we're gonna jam. Today I'm gonna especially talk about the pull and stretch method, fitting the jam to your thumb and the baggy method. Okay, so here are my blank bare hands ready to be jammed out. So the first thing I do is I pick out my jams and I happen to have a symphony concert this weekend. So this is called Obsessed. I'm obsessed with Obsessed. And you're going to Hold them up, that's why the back is clear. So you're gonna hold it up to your finger and kind of see which one's gonna go best, okay? So what I do is once I pick it out, which ones I'm gonna use, I just cut it right off the sheet, the whole strip. Okay, so. Here I have now cut out the jam I'm gonna use on my pinkies. So, see, now I have this strip, I can easily work with it, and I know that it's going to fit because I use this one every time, but you can just hold it up and see that it's going to fit. I know you can't see that very well, but, you know, I know it's going to fit. So, once you've selected the five strips of jams that you need, your sheet, mine always looks like this. So, I know that I use the first four and then the third from the top for my thumb. So now this can just go back with your collection. Okay, so now we need our trusty cuticle pusher. This is my cheap one that I just happened to have before I started loving jams. Let me tell you that the official Jamberry application kit cuticle pusher is a miracle worker. So just on every cuticle, as much as you can, just push back on every cuticle, on every fingernail, on your cuticles, just push them back as far as you can because that cuticle, the jam is not going to stick to the cuticle. So if you have cuticle like on the base of your nails, then your jams are not going to stick well. And ain't nobody got time for that. So do the best you can, really push it back. And like this has a really spongy edge and I've also used it to death. So the one from Jamberry is a little bit more stiff. Um, I guess you could also say stiffer, and it will just really do a good job quickly and efficiently. So you just want to do that to all 10 of your nails, and that's um, that's what you want to do. And then you want to make sure that either you wash your hands really good with like dish soap or that you use an alcohol wipe to make sure that there's no oils because, again, oil is going to prevent the jams from sticking. So I have pushed back my cuticles and I have already washed my hands with vegetable oil. No. Okay, so I've pushed back my cuticles. I have cleaned my nails. They are totally oil free and I'm ready to apply some jam. So, so let's go ahead and start with something really simple like my ring finger. Okay, so that's this one. So what I like to do is just cut it right down the middle. Okay. And you'll see why. So now that I have it down the middle, by the way, let's, okay, here's my official Jamberry mini heater. Um, I used to use a hair dryer. I have been a million percent converted to the mini heater. It's on right now. You can probably barely even hear it. If I were using my hair dryer, well, we can be making this video and all of this stuff would just be blown like the tornado in the Wizard of Oz. It would just be crazy. So, okay, you can take it and you can peel it up with the very tip of your fingernail like this. You can go like that. Um, and I like to just use tweezers to just grab the tip and then peel the back off. Okay, now I do not heat before I put it on my nail and I'll show you why. So, using my tweezers, I very carefully, hang on, I gotta get a little closer. Okay, using my tweezers, I get right up on it and I lay it on my nail, okay? I just laid it, see it's like, it's like barely stuck, okay? Now I'm gonna do what's called the T, all right? First, you do straight down the middle, that's the only place you push, and then you do just the base. So it's like a T, see? Like, there's a cap at the top of the T, and straight down. Okay, now check it out. I'm going to hold it in front of my mini heater and watch what's going to happen. Oh, you can't really see. 
Okay, it's starting to curl. Woo! Okay, now I know that it's really stretchy, okay? So, to make sure I have no bubbles on the side, I'm gonna pull and stretch. Pull it and stretch it over. That took a second, so I'm gonna just heat it a little bit more. Pull and stretch. I know that was hard to see, I'm gonna show you again, okay? But I want you to look at how smooth. Look at the side, there's no bubbles. No bubbles, okay? Yes, I have the crazy claw jam hanging off. We're gonna deal with that. In fact, let's deal with that now. This is where you need your handy dandy nail scissors. And you're just gonna like carefully clip off the excess. Now, some people, like me, are sad because look, this could be like a pinky toe of a jam, right? But in reality, having the pull and stretch method be being so amazing. Um, I like to just go ahead and sacrifice this potential pinky nail so I can make sure that there's no bubbles. Like I said, I picked these particular jams for a symphony concert this weekend, so I obviously want to be on my A game with my hands. Okay, so let's try another one. Um, well, let's just do the ring finger on the opposite hand. What a smart idea. Okay, so remember I have my half a jam. Okay, here's my heat that's ready to go. And just get the corner. with your tweezers or the orange stick if you like. Take it off and don't heat it first. Tricky, tricky, because I'm right-handed. So with my left hand, I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit. Very carefully lay it on there. Okay, look, just it's just laid on gently. Now I'm gonna make my tea down the middle just the base, just the very, very base, okay? Now, there's my heater. All right. Now, pull and stretch over the edge. Now, the other side, pull and stretch. Look at that. That's like amazing. Amazing. Okay. So then if you want to just seal it down, you can just heat it a tiny bit more and then use that cuticle pusher to just smooth it out. Okay. And then of course, take your scissors, clip off the excess. Now, when you pull and stretch, it might like get on your um, finger a little bit but jams, they will not stick to your flesh just like they won't stick to the cuticle. And that's good, right? We don't want jams like permanently stuck to our fingers the way we want them on our nails. So I have a terrible, ugly looking tip right now, but we don't care because look how smooth the edges of my jams are, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be your thumb jam, okay? Look at my thumb. It is not as curved. See, I have a nice U shape at the base of my index finger, but at my th for my thumb, I don't. It's a little bit flat. So if I were to put the jam on my thumbnail, just like this, then there's gonna be like all this corner of my thumb. The corners aren't gonna have jams on them and it's gonna look kind of funny. So here's what I do. Even on something as lovely as Obsessed, that has this design at the bottom. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna kinda look, let me see if I can show this to you clearly. I'm gonna kinda look and see where, you know, I actually want the bottom of the jam to come. And then I'm gonna just snip the bottom off like this to just make it a flatter edge rather than curved, okay? All right, so here's what my jam looks like now. And if I hold it up on my thumb, oh, I'm the worst. Okay, see, it's gonna go and it's gonna cover, it's gonna cover those corners better. So I'm gonna do the same thing, cut it in half. Tweezers. Okay. 
Can you see this? So much shadow. Okay, so it's in the base. I just laid it on there, okay? Just barely. See that? And I'm gonna do the T. So straight down the middle and onto each side. Yeah, look at this. Look, there. it's like right into the corners of my nail. There's not any excess nail that's not gonna have jam on it in the bottom and it's just lightly stuck on there. So I'm heating. Okay, the jam is soft, pull and stretch over the edge, pull and stretch. The jam is so, it gets so soft and rubbery that like it's just really easy to pull and stretch. Okay, now I'm just smoothing it out over the tips. like so. And now I'm going to take the scissors and clip off the edges. And there we go. So that's how you do the pull and stretch portion. Okay. So now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to skip ahead. Normally I would finish all 10 nails before I would do this, but for the sake of, you know, our video, I'm not going to do that. So you're probably like, what am I going to do with this tip? Okay. Filing is the most important part of the Jamboree application process, in my opinion. Um, that might be an ex exaggeration, but it's really important. So the most important thing is you never want to file like this, at, at least at first. Never, never, never. Okay, notice I demonstrated on a nail that doesn't have a jam yet. So you're gonna take it and hold your finger out at a nine, you know, and make the file come at it at a 90 degree angle. Okay, let me lift it up a little bit. So straight down, only one way. Okay, there you can see this a little better. Straight down, only one direction. I'm not going back and forth. I'm just coming straight down and what's happening is that the tip of the jam is just kind of like rolling off and it's so small like it's not a big amount because I clipped it but it's just disconnecting from the rest of the jam so you have to be kind of patient with this especially like you know this nail isn't very long like for my thumb it's gonna be better but that one's not quite cool yet that's the other thing you want to wait until it's completely cool before you file. So um, you just kind of file like this, sorry, 90 degrees, and then the excess jam will just come off. Now, okay, so for me, this is a good demonstration too. So I'm doing it and you probably can't really see, but there's not, there wasn't really enough for it to like slough off with the file. So I'm gonna take the these kind of precision cutters that have this nifty thing that make them, I don't know, have tension so that they go in and out like with one hand, okay? And I'm gonna look really closely and I'm just gonna clip off that little tiny bit of adhesive left over from the filing, okay? so. It's a teeny tiny bit. Okay. You probably can't even, like, there's not really even anything to see. And then I'm going to take my buffer, okay? And it's not really rough enough to actually take any of the jam off. Like, the file would be rough enough to do that. That's why you don't want to go like this because that's going to shave off the tip of your, like you'll be able to see your nail and then the jam and that would be not ideal. So you take the buffer and just do the same kind of thing. 90 degrees. 
and it's just going to smooth out the tip so that there's nothing there. Yeah, that made a big difference because it was so small. Okay. There. Okay, so my thumb's a little bit longer. The, um, and there's a little bit more jam left over. So I'm going to show you. All right, 90 degrees. There we go. Look what's happening. Can you tell that there's like that little piece of jam? So it's just coming right off. See? And you don't want to pull on that. You just want to patiently file and then it'll come right off. In fact, I, I lost it because it was so small. So this is this was what was left over. Come here. Come here. This is what was left over on my thumb. And it just kind of came right off with the filing. 90. Degrees. Oh. There we go. Here's another good little piece. See? It just left right off. I don't know that that's a real word. We were debating this yesterday when I was helping some people put on their jams. I think that sloughing is a word. Sloughed off. I don't know. What do you think? Is sloughing a word? All right. So now that I've done that, just smoothed it out a little bit. Same thing. I'm going to take the buffer and just go like that. Okay. So I'm going to go finish all 10 jams and then I'm going to show you what I do at the end. Okay. Okay. So here are my 10 nails that are jamming with obsessed. And I want to show you one thing. I have two more things to show you basically. So, um, I have filed and buffed all of the edges and I'm very happy with how they turned out. Um, my, I will say that the edges of my, like my, around my nails, are a little dry because I used fingernail polish remover to, um, I had the strengthening top coat on, I mean, I'm sorry, the strengthening base coat, the Jamberry strengthening base coat on, and I wanted to take that off personally before I put them on, but you can use it underneath. But now they're a little dry, and then also from all the filing, and so after I do this, um, I'm going to put the Jamberry nail oil, the cuticle oil on my nails, and it's going to make them feel so luxurious. So, but I want to show you one little thing. So look at my thumb. Can you see that there are two tiny bubbles? Tiny bubbles. They're not even right at the tip, but they're just two tiny bubbles. So here's how I deal with that. I got my trusty heater, and I have this thing that is a metal cuticle pusher, okay? This tip, there's like a pointy-ish tip, and then there's this tip that is like a spoon. Can you see that? It's kind of indented, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this in front of my heater so that it gets a little bit warm. So do not burn yourself, okay? Um, it Now, another thing I do with this, um, especially like throughout the week if I notice that a tip is coming off, I just have my hair straightener like I'm out in my bathroom all the time and um, I will actually like clamp this between the like in the straightener like this and that will heat it up really fast but you have to be careful because it gets really hot and then you can do the same thing but right now I only have this so okay so what I do is I just take the spoon edge and I smooth it out it's like I'm ironing it okay so I iron over that teeny bubble and kind of like bring it to the edge. I'm like teasing it out to the edge and then pressing it down and it goes away. So let me uh, adjust my life. Okay. So I'm spooning over the bubble, spooning over it. And it's just coming towards the tip and then smoothing out. Now these are very, very small imperfections. Like they wouldn't, you know, nobody would even be able to see them. But that's one thing you can do. Okay, so now there's those bubbles are gone. Now, so say one of your tips was coming off. I would do the same thing. I would heat up the spoon pusher and I would just go on the tip like this. And that's heat and pressure at the same time. A hot device 
putting pressure on your nails and that's what activates the wrap adhesive is heat plus pressure okay so that's what I would do throughout the the week or two weeks to um, make sure that any tips that were coming up were staying down okay so heat up the spoon pusher and just press into the side until it sticks down and honestly you can do that as many times as you need if if tips are kind of your problem which sometimes those are mine um, you can do that. Alright, so last thing. A baggie. A baggie, okay? Um, I like to have as much surface area to my baggie as possible, so I just like cut off the Ziploc part, um, which really satisfies the like fourth grade craft child that lives in me. And then I go ahead, ooh, you know what? I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try something new with you guys right now. Okay, and I'm only going to cut one edge open. Normally I would cut both, but I just had a great idea. Okay, so now look, you have like a pocket. Okay, so I'm going to stick one finger in there. And I'm going to pull it really tight. Oh, this is such a good idea. And it's really tight. And I'm going to heat it up like that. And that went, how long do you heat it? Until you're like, ow. Ow, okay. Now it wasn't really ow, but like, whoa, okay? So that's the second heat. Jamberry recommends that you heat your wraps twice. Their official instructions say to heat it before you put it on your nail and then, you know, at the end. But because of the pull and stretch method, that's why we just gently lay it on the nail and then heat it. Okay, so since I made this little corner, this is where I'm gonna put all of my fingers as I heat it up. Let's do my thumb because I like you guys and so I would not want to demonstrate with my middle finger right now. So, heating up the thumb, pressure, 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 ow, okay. And while it's in there even, you could, um, while it's in there, you can even smooth it down if you want, you want to be like extra vigilant. Okay, so in the past, I haven't left this corner intact of the bag, so I've just done something like this where I like wrapped my thumb in it like this and I don't know I feel like I'm never actually getting pressure I think one tip if you do want to use like open the whole bag like this um, is to not only pull pull back with the hand that's holding the baggie but also like press forward with the one that you're doing so check this out so I'm putting it I'm wrapping it up it's tight but now I'm pushing forward with this one and I'm pulling back with the hand that's pulling the bag, and that creates a really tight seal, okay? So that's what you do. Look how pretty they are. Look, oh, and can I just tell you something else? I went to get this bag after, like as soon as I had filed, I was like, oh, I didn't get a bag. So I just got up and I walked to the kitchen and I opened a cabinet and I dug inside and got a bag. And imagine, imagine if this was paint. Could I have done that? No, not even a little bit. I would have had to sit here like this for like three hours and then I still would have smudged them or they still would have been gloopy and it just would have been horrendous and I probably would have broken something because I was so upset that I spent so long doing this like awesome pattern, which I would never have been able to do anyway. So anyway, jams are awesome. Um, have a good day and jam out. Bye.